Hi, I'm Hansel Flykis. I am 24 years old and I am an artist, but first and foremost, I'm an actor. always been a big interest of mine since I was younger. I used to do, um, I stayed fit in primary school, the boat club, um, and then I used to do some uh, plays at church as well. And then as I grew older, the interest never went away. Um, and then eventually I went and studied drama and theatre studies at Stellenbosch University. And then after, in my final year, I actually decided to get into campus radio. So I did a bit of radio, but then six months after I completed my studies is when I basically got my first acting gig, TV acting gig. So I got an agency while I was still on university. Um, did a few auditions, I didn't go my way. Um, but then I would say I actually got it fairly quickly after I completed my studies because I know it is a struggle and especially because the industry is very small I would say so if you are in you are in but it takes um, a bit of time to actually get in I'd say so I managed to get in at a good time and yeah, I just hope that it continues <laughs> to go my way. It's been so much joy for me personally. I've learned so much. I've got to experience great things, got to work with even great, greater people. I've learned a lot. Um, and that's what they always say. They say you learn a lot more on set than learning about it. Um, Theor theoretically. So I'd say I've got nothing bad to say about my time so far because if it was merely like the slightest bit of bad, it was always just a lesson. Oh my soul. I actually remember it so well, down to the T. So luckily I only had one scene for the day and I didn't even have much to say. But I was so lost if I think about it because <laughs> I did like the silliest things in terms of eating the morning but there's like a whole buffet set out for you and then <laughs> what else happened? Um, oh, so the crew was there, some of the members of the crew and I was like, oh what, what do you do? And he's like, grip. I'm like, what's grip? Now I'm like, oh, I know this department, I know that department, but it was just a lot to take in for my first day. But the people who I worked with made it a lot easier for me as well. So I actually had writing as one of my majors in university, but it became more real afterwards. So I was doing art and play and uh, my character was about to leave university and I thought to myself okay what's your plan Hunter and then that's when I started taking the writing thing a little bit more seriously and I applied for this funding and I just I decided to shoot my shot because what did I have to lose and then it actually played in my favor so I think it's very important to explore other opportunities as well even if you think it might not go your way because it might actually go your way so it's very important because you also don't want to become stagnant in your craft um you don't want to um i think it's as an actress especially it's still classified as freelancing so it's very often on and off and on and off so what are you doing during that off time it's very important to find something else that you are still very passionate about and that could possibly bring another income so i would definitely recommend to just explore while you can in every aspect for me personally the word empowerment includes a lot of people but also my faith so my faith has carried me 
through a lot, but so has my support structures and they definitely empower me. Um, my family, um, near and far, but my immediate family, which consists of my mom, my dad and my brother, I would definitely say they, I see them when I think of the word empower. women that inspire me and I would draw it closer to home first of all so my mom huge inspiration um, just from where she started to where she is at now and then my grandma as well she's not with us at the moment but she was my biggest supporter but not mine alone she was everyone's biggest supporter so that was very nice to grow up in a family like that um, but I would just say um, I've got some good friends as well, um, very supportive friends. And then in terms of acting, the broader picture, Roxanne Blaze, she's very low key, but in terms of her approach, but if you listen to what she says, she gives some really great um, motivation, direction, and her approach is very gentle and that's also what I appreciate. And then internationally, I think Viola Davis is a good one as well.